Back in the days of old Hollywood, there was an actor who became quite famous for his roles in spooky movies like Dracula and The Mummy. He had this way of really grabbing your attention and making you feel like you were right there in the story with him. One of his big breaks came when he starred in Dracula, which pretty much sealed his fate as a leading guy in scary movies. Got any cool stories about watching his flicks? Feel free to share below and stick around because we're about to spill some interesting tidbits about his life and career. Stay tuned for more. Are you a fan of classic Hollywood movies? Dive into the world of a talented actor known for his roles in some unforgettable films. One of his notable works includes a portrayal of a famous vampire in a 1931 movie alongside Bela Lugosi. Another one to watch is a 1932 film featuring a captivating storyline and a chilling atmosphere. If you're new to his work, these films are great starting points to explore his acting style and contributions to classic cinema. Whether you enjoy horror, drama, or romance, his filmography offers a variety of genres to enjoy. So why not sit back, relax, and discover the timeless performances delivered by this remarkable actor? Exploring the journey of a creative soul who ventured into literature, delving deep into the exploration of self, is truly captivating. During his later years, he wrote thought-provoking novels like Look Through, an evidence of self-discovery, diving into the depths of the human spirit. His connection to his roots is evident through the subtle homage to his mother's maiden name, reflecting his appreciation for family ties that shaped his identity. Beyond his writing, he openly embraced his identity as a gay man, navigating life with courage. In 1948, he met playwright Frederick William Mercer, marking a significant chapter in his life. Their partnership spanned three decades, filled with shared joys and faced challenges. Mercer's departure in 1978 left a profound impact. His contributions go beyond his novels and personal life, leaving a lasting impression on the world, a testament to the power of self-discovery and authentic connections. In 1931, during the filming, the actor playing John Harker got paid a lot more than Bela Lugosi, who played Dracula. But it's not as unfair as it seems. The actor was actually under contract to Warner Brothers First National, and studios often lent out their contract players for more money, but they kept the extra cash. This movie was a big hit, the most successful one with both of them. Before this, they worked together on two films at Warner Brothers First National and one at Fox. This kind of arrangement was common in old Hollywood. Studios had a lot of power over their stars, controlling not just what roles they played, but also how much they got paid. Even though it seemed like one actor got paid more, the success of the film was a big deal for both of them. It made them even more famous in the industry. The inner workings of Hollywood back then can be a bit complicated, but they're interesting to learn about. This movie is still famous today, not just as a horror classic, but also as a reminder of how things worked behind the scenes in old Hollywood. He collaborated with Helen Chandler on four films, two at Warner Brothers First National and one at Fox. Their most famous pairing, Dracula, was made at Universal. In The Black Cat, he portrayed Peter Allison. Despite rumors of earning more than Bela Lugosi, his $2,000 salary included a fee paid to the studio he had been loaned out from. Consequently, he likely earned less than Bella. Scheduled for a 15-day shoot with a budget of $91,125, the Black Cat allocated $7,500 for Boris Karloff, $3,000 for Bella Lugosi, and $3,125 for him. The actual Black Cat earned $200 during the Depression era. It's intriguing how some actors choose not to revisit their past work, even when it's a movie they starred in. Take, for instance, one actor who played John Harker in Dracula. Despite being in the film, he admitted to never watching it. This might seem odd, but it adds to his mysterious image as an actor. For another movie, A Bill of Divorcement, a studio borrowed him from another one just to have him in the cast. This shows how valued he was as an actor in Hollywood's golden age, where studios often swapped actors to fit their roles. Even though he avoided looking back at his old performances, he still amazed audiences with his acting skills, making a lasting impression on the movie world. Once engaged in the vibrant world of New York art and the rugged plains of the Wild West, he seamlessly shifted between these contrasting landscapes. From the refined atmosphere of galleries to the rough terrain of the frontier, he embraced diverse experiences. He even starred in a movie alongside Bela Lugosi, playing John Harker in Dracula. Despite the allure of Hollywood fame, his contract likely meant most of his earnings went back to the studio. After bidding farewell to the glamour, he found solace in ranch life, pursuing his love for filmmaking. Armed with a camera, he set out to capture the beauty of ranch living, but suffered a setback when his footage was stolen. 
Despite this loss, his creative spirit remains strong. His passion for storytelling lives on through his films, a reminder of his resilience in the face of challenges. Studio publicity tongues claimed he was a descendant of William the Conqueror. As John Harker in Dracula, he recalled the chaotic production in an interview with film historian David J. Scout. He noted Todd Browning's lack of direction and how only Bela Lugosi took his role seriously. Lugosi's method of staying in character was to walk the set in his Dracula cloak, muttering his lines. Despite popular belief, Dracula did not feature the famous Takata and Fugue in D minor that was in The Black Cat. It also starred Bela Lugosi alongside him. Lugosi's commitment to his craft was evident, contrary to later accusations. Once upon a time, there was a big star in old-time Hollywood who suddenly disappeared, leaving everyone puzzled. He started acting when movies started using sound and became famous for scary movies with famous actors like Bela Lugosi and Boris Karloff. Despite his success, he quit acting to try other things, which confused a lot of people because he was really good at it. Interestingly, they took away his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, leaving an empty space and leaving fans wondering why. Some people say it was because of scandals or fights, while others think it was just a mistake. But even though his star is gone, people still remember and admire his early work in Hollywood, especially in scary movies. The mystery of why they removed his star just makes people even more curious about him and his story. Did you know that despite finding fame in Hollywood during the 1930s, he later decided to quit acting altogether? Disappointed by how shallow the industry was and the lack of meaningful roles he was offered, he chose to leave behind the glitz and glam of Hollywood for a quieter life away from the cameras. This decision surprised many fans who admired his work as he had once lived a very busy life. Now he prefers peace and quiet, enjoying a more private life despite his past fame. His departure from acting saddened his fans who missed seeing him on screen, but even though he's not acting anymore, his work still captivates audiences today. In the era of classic Hollywood, there existed a figure whose story often remains overshadowed by his more famous peers. This individual, while not as widely celebrated, left a lasting mark on the silver screen. Throughout his career, he grappled with a profound sadness, stemming from the loss of his beloved wife to pneumonia. Despite his outward success as an actor, this personal tragedy cast a shadow over his life, shaping both his professional journey and his inner struggles. Behind the glamour of the movies, he carried the weight of grief, using his own pain to infuse depth into the characters he portrayed. His ability to translate personal sorrow into poignant performances resonated deeply with audiences, offering a glimpse into the human side of the entertainment industry. In the world of classic cinema, where fame often took precedence, his story serves as a reminder of the complex intersection between personal tragedy and public perception. His legacy endures as a testament to the power of resilience in the face of adversity. In a surprising turn of events, a well-known actor suddenly quit acting at the peak of his career, leaving fans and colleagues puzzled. Instead of staying in the spotlight, he decided to live away from public attention. His decision baffled many who couldn't understand why he chose to leave so suddenly. Despite people guessing, the real reasons for his departure remain a mystery, making him even more enigmatic. Speculation swirled around his exit, with some suggesting he had grown weary of the relentless demands of fame, while others whispered about undisclosed personal reasons. Whatever the truth may be, one thing is certain his abrupt exit from the industry left a void that many hoped would one day be filled. But as time passed, it became increasingly apparent that he had no intention of returning to the limelight. Instead, he retreated into seclusion, far from the glitz and glamour he once embraced. Perhaps only he knows the real motivations behind his decision, a secret he guards with an enigmatic silence that adds to his mystique. Whatever the case, the actor who vanished into the shadows continues to fascinate and capture the curiosity of fans around the world.